Hi, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from the International Police Expo. And here we are at the Scient Technologies, which has taken the maximum space, I'm sure, making the exhibitors laughingly running to the bank. And here we have with us the CEO, who's also the founder of Scient Technologies. Uh, we welcome you, Mr. Vibhu Anand, to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here and get to understand what is science technologies, what does it do, how is it placed, and why here in this show. So let's continue, sir. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, so thanks for the introduction. Uh, so myself, Vibhu, from Science Technologies. So. Uh, basically, we are into the business where we are providing the solutions in the field of digital forensics and cyber crime investigation. At this particular event, like as the name indicates, it is a police expo. So, like most of the government officials, the law enforcement agencies, the people from the defense forces, they are coming to this particular exhibition uh, to see the various kind of solutions which are available in this particular domain. So, our domain is, as I mentioned, to use the digital forensics. So, we have what we have done, we have displayed the a variety of solutions in this particular domain covering how to recover the data from uh, damaged mobile phones or the mobile phones which you are seizing from the criminals or suspects or anti-social people or anti-national people. Similarly, like uh, various kind of digital evidences in the form of hard drives or the memory cards or maybe a laptops or the servers uh, which uh, people, they are protecting their data. So how to uncover the truth kind of thing. So we are providing that kind of solutions. Apart from that, we are also providing solutions and displaying the solutions here, how to crack the passwords. So like, as we all are using a variety of gadgets, so we are protecting our data also from uh, from uh, the people with whom we, want, we don't want that the data should be gone. So a lot of government agencies and law enforcement agencies or the people who are working on anti-terrorist kind of thing, so they want to unprotect that particular kind of digital evidences so we are having a lot of solutions how to unprotect the iPhone devices how to open the Android devices how to get the data from that particular devices so all that things we have put it here on the display apart from that uh, like we are having a variety of solutions where uh, we are handling digital evidences so these digital evidences when the police or the government or the law enforcement agencies when they are seizing they have to ultimately produce that particular thing in the court of law. So when they are producing in the court of law, the, so we, the objective is that the evidence should not be tampered. The integrity of that particular evidence should remain intact. So considering that particular aspect, we are having a lot of devices called as forensic imaging devices, cloning devices, forensic workstations. So what we have done, we have displayed all this particular thing. So the objective is that the audience who are coming here from the government or law enforcement, law enforcement agencies, they should be able to see all the solutions in a working condition. So the space which we have taken is basically we have categorized to showcase each and everything in a practical format. And we, what we have done, we, are, we have put various case scenarios in a real kind of scenarios like uh, yesterday few of the government officers they put some password and uh, they have given us a challenge to crack that particular thing so we were able to crack that particular kind of passwords also so that all things we have displayed it here wonderful and uh, is uh, we can see a list of uh, alliances yeah. so uh, you know what is your expansion in the indian and global market as a joint venture partner so presently speaking like in India, uh, we are not having a major uh, uh, manufacturer or a developer or the, uh, of these kind of solutions. So most of the solutions are coming from USA, Israel or many other countries or European countries. So we are having the alliances with the, some of the OEMs. So these are the OEMs who are not only providing the solutions in India, so like the federal agencies in US or many other government agencies all over the world, they are also using the similar kind of solutions. But as per the government of India, Make in India policy, we are also strongly working with our OEMs and our own R&D team also to bring some of the solutions here in India. So we are already having some uh, products and pipeline which we are going to produce here locally so that uh, uh, we should have a more control on the solutions and 
we should be able to give uh, exact requirement based solutions also to, the, to our government customers. Right, and are you in touch with the defense forces and the paramilitary forces? For yeah, it? we we are like an entire country. All the defense organizations, police organizations, center forensics labs, state forensics labs. So you name any kind of organization, they are already using our product solutions. And apart from uh, selling products, we are also into services and training. So the what we are selling, we are also giving that services to various government departments. We are impaneled with a lot of revenue departments also of government of India. And uh, our team, they are going with them uh, for various kind of digital investigations and have providing help to them. Apart from that, we are also providing as a social responsibility. We are also providing on an honorary basis kind of thing to various police academies. We are going there and teaching on the subjects where a lot of people from the uh, Indian government agencies, police organizations are coming. Apart from that, there are some other countries also with whom we are having a, uh, 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 like a uh, good relationship. These people are coming from the various other countries to India and taking the courses on such subjects. Wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. And I just love your tagline. Science technologies, human keep secrets, computers do not. Yeah, so this is a very important thing because generally speaking, uh, like uh, we say that if you are seizing uh, any evidence or you are nabbing any criminal or the suspect or terrorist and you want uh, him to speak uh, what is required, so you will not be able to get the information sometimes. And we, we generally say like you are, you are using a mobile phone, your mobile phone is your body part. And we say that your mobile phone is a, your clone. Your clone means whatever you know about yourself, all that information is also available in your mobile phone. Beyond that, it is also having a lot of other information which you don't know. Like you are standing here talking to me, you are talking about my booth, but there are a lot of things in surrounding which you have not noticed, but your mobile phone has noticed and stored some of the information also. So if I get a hold of your mobile phone, your digital evidence, so I can get more information about you, then your, your, yourself or your family member must be knowing. So we say human keep secrets, computers don't. So we can get all the data from that. Thank you so much, sir. And with the parting line for our audience, Sci Int, it means cyber intelligence? Yeah. So the name was derived uh, by cyber intelligence company and it also rhymes with our, one of our gods. So, so that's why we have kept this name. Thank you so much, sir. We are very grateful that you could spare this time for us and you could have a chat with us in the chat room. Hope to see you again with all many and many more innovations and of course an expansive Indian market too. Thank you very much. Thank you,